A wanted suspect is in custody after a wild chain of events. It all kicked off in Columbia County earlier this evening. That's where troopers tried to get that driver into custody. Then a chase wound its way into Beaverton and south of 26 all the way to 170th Avenue near Kattegat Drive. Fox 12 Sarah Hurwitz shows us how it all came to an end. From the skies, you see the smashed results of an afternoon chase, an ending that came too close to home for Victoria and Caitlin Welch, who heard a loud bang outside their house. We ran upstairs um, so we could see over the fence, and there was a car almost in our backyard. The police had their guns drawn when they got out of the, their, their cars, and that was probably the scariest part of it. The suspect crashed this van off Southwest 170th Avenue and Kattegat Drive in Beaverton, just outside of their backyard. The Washington County Sheriff's Office says it all started in Columbia County when an Oregon State Trooper attempted to pull over the car. But the suspect took off, leading police on a low-speed chase through parts of Columbia and Washington counties. Police initially called off that chase somewhere around Logie Trail and Highway 30. And then at some point, deputies say that that suspect rammed this Columbia City police car. The chase then continued through parts of Washington County before police called it off once again after the suspect got into heavier traffic near Highway 26 and Jackson School Road. The sheriff's office says the driver was obeying traffic laws during that time. And then the chase picked back up a final time once the driver got off the highway at Bethany. There were two failed spike attempts to get the car to stop, and then the suspect eventually ended up crashing here at 170th and Kattegat. And as for the Welch family, they are just relieved that it ended the way it did. It's just being really thankful that it was on the other side of the fence. And that was Fox 12 Sarah Hurwitz. The suspect who police have identified as 56-year-old Robert Townsend is facing several charges, including attempted assault on a peace officer. The sheriff's office says he was taken to the hospital with minor injuries from the crash.